Hi, so today I wanted to go over a, this external battery that I had bought for the right to repair hearing that we did in Nebraska. So when we went to Nebraska, our intention was to lobby on behalf of right to repair, but also to record the entire hearing and also to live stream it as it was occurring in real time. So the problem with live streaming is that I had an Android phone that had one or two bars of service, so I was stuck with a one megabit per second internet connection, which looked pretty bad. So I decided to record a copy using NVENC, which is the graphics card encoder in Open Broadcaster. This meant that on this workstation machine, I was going to be using all of my CPU and all of my GPU, which would have most likely brought the battery life down to an hour or two. So I got this battery in the hopes that if there was no electrical outlet there, that I would be able to stream the low bitrate copy, record the high bitrate copy for editing later, and not run out of battery for the duration of the stream. So I tried a bunch of different batteries, and they, they all kind of laughed at powering this machine. Again, this has a 170 watt charger. It's got a quad-core Xeon and a Quadro M2000 GPU. That's, that's pushing it for any type of external battery. This, so most external batteries, they can barely power a, you know, an Ultrabook, much less a workstation. So this battery was able to power this, and I just wanted to give it a thumbs up for that. Now, I, didn't, I wasn't going to do this video answering the question until I could answer the most important question, which is whether you can take this on an airplane. And I just recently decided to risk losing one of these batteries, it's, which is a lot. It's a $135 battery. I was willing to risk losing one of these to answer that question during my vacation in the beginning of June, and the answer is yes. They went through my bag. They looked at all the stuff that I have in there. They spent some time looking at the battery, the TSA agent talked to somebody else. And at the end of it, they gave me my battery and everything else back in my bag. So I'm not saying you'll have the same experience, and I'm not saying they definitely made the right decision, but I was able to make a flight from New York to California with this battery in my bag and, you know, no anal probe. So hopefully the same for you. Now, this battery cannot power the P50 if you remove its internal battery. It won't turn on. However, if you have the internal battery charged up in the P50, you can plug this in, you can use the CPU and the GPU encoder and open broadcaster, and it won't drain the internal battery, which is important. All I cared about is that this would be able to extend the usable life of the P50 so that I would be able to record the entire hearing since I was not sure if I would have an electrical outlet made available to me. So what I wanted to do here is I was just going to show you just how strong this battery is by using my, I was going to do an, an empty chair stream that I've been promising for a long time. So I'm going to do an empty chair stream for Eli the computer guy. Uh, I'm going to record it using NVENC, so I'm using my graphics card, and then I'm going to stream it using the CPU so that my CPU is getting stressed so that you can see how this battery performs when a workstation is being abused in you know, real world use. So I'm going to plug this in. And then I'm going to stream my empty chair, and at the bottom of the empty chair, I'm going to have my mouse hovered over the battery remaining percentage, so that this way you can see the timeline. So I'm going to start the stream from the moment that I unplug the charger and plug this in, and we're going to end the stream at the point that the internal battery starts going down significantly. Once the internal battery starts dropping significantly, we know that this thing was most likely depleted. And before we begin the stream, here's a kitty. So let's start up the stream, and I'm going to link to it below, and you'll be able to see just how long this battery is able to power a P50 with the CPU and the GPU getting used and abused. Okay, so as can be seen here, we've made it to 3 hours and 19 minutes, which is very impressive considering the power draw of the Lenovo P50 when the CPU and the GPU are in high usage. Now, you'll see that the video is skipping a little bit, and that is because I chose a preset one higher than what I usually use for streaming for LibX 264, which is very fast instead of super fast, which is pushing it at this bitrate on this machine, especially since I'm also making full usage of the GPU encoder. However, even that, though the stream is a little little skippy, you can still get the idea that the CPU is working, the GPU is working, and with all of that considered, it doesn't start draining the internal battery at all until 3 hours and 19 minutes into near full load, which is pretty impressive. This is a really good thing to have if you have a mobile recording rig, if you're doing any type of mobile video recording, mobile audio recording. This has a 20 volt output, a 12 volt output, fast charging USB, regular charging USB, and it's got all these adapters here that you can use to plug it into a multitude of different laptops. The thing's about $135, but for what you get, it's pretty worth, pretty worth it. So I, I got two of these just in case. I was pretty paranoid about not catching everything in Nebraska, so I made sure to buy two of these batteries for that hearing, and 
they, I, I gotta say, they're pretty heavy. You, you, you're not gonna put this in your pocket. So, you know, if I try to, yeah, let's see. Like, I can, I can technically fit this in my pants pocket here, but I'm, I don't wanna walk around with that. So these, these pants have pretty big pockets. If you have, you know, the, these, types of, uh, these types of pants, maybe you'll be able to fit it in. If you have, you know, uh, if you're using jeans pockets, there's probably no way in hell you're gonna put this in your pocket. Even if it does fit in your pocket, you're probably not gonna wanna carry something this heavy. This is meant for a road case. This is meant for some type of professional use or a spare thing to have in your office. This isn't something that you really just wanna be carrying around in your pocket. <laughs> 